going on guys? My name is Shogun Shadow and welcome to One Bit Adventure. Now, as you guys know, I love me some retro gaming. I get down with the retro gaming. Um, but this I downloaded this game and it was a little it was a little strange, but I really like it. Also, face cam my boys, face cam. So if I'm not, like, looking directly at the cam, it's because I'm actually looking down around at my phone. My, my camera's, like, right here on the top of my phone, so... We're just going to continue offline. I'm not going to bother. Uh, that's a free revive there. So I've started two... Uh, two, uh, uh... Two different warriors. We're going to go ahead and just look at what we got. We got a warrior. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Stop. We got a blood knight. We got a wizard. And we got a necromancer. And a pyromancer. As you can see, I have 4,000 coins and seven, seven diamonds. We are going to make a necromancer. Let me go ahead and turn down the volume a little. We're going to play the tutorial. You can wait for enemies to move by tapping the screen. Oh, hey. That's cool. Not just yet. Okay, so these little things that I'm collecting, those are the coins. Food is health, um, obviously, which is pretty cool. It has a very, uh, like the HUD, uh, it has a very Diablo feel to it. Like the health is red, the mana is blue, there are two globes on the out, on either side of your of your inventory and stuff, which I really like. As you guys know, I love Diablo, so... This is very interesting. There apparently is an achievement. Oh, uh, another really cool thing that I just recently found out about this game. Mind you, I downloaded this about a half hour ago, so I got a chance to play it and get an idea. But there's campfires. And the campfires allow you to save. Alright, so here's where it really gets crazy. So that 
Okay, just making sure that my camera's still working here. I don't usually get an opportunity to do face cam, which is pretty cool. Oh man, I missed that? Can I go back? That's the question. All right, let me down the HUD. Okay, good. All right, so far so good. Yeah, we got a first level. Okay, so what do I want to do? Uh, let's see. Learn about effects. Death. Self slow bleed, stun, endure, berserk. Souls are exclusive to necromancers and are needed to transcend them. When killing an enemy, the user will gain a soul. Once the soul reaches the max amount displayed on the bottom right, the nec necromancer will transcend and become the enemy. And will become the enemy. Uh, the stats are transformed into the into the necromancer. When the transcended uh, form dies, the necromancer will revert to his original form. Fun fact: necromancer can literal can be literally an enemy. Any enemy he can kill. Ooh, that's interesting. So I could technically be a boss. I mean, I'm already a boss, but, you know, your boy. Okay, so you cannot walk to the bottom of the screen. You will die. And by the way, this is free to download on Google Play, just so you know. Um, very fun game. I'm actually having a blast with this. But, you know me, I'm... I love my retro gaming. Oh, I have skill points. 
I forgot about that. Let's go with soul damage, why not? Oh, I'm almost dead. Yeah, we'll leave it like it is. It's still early in the run. Some of my other runs, I'm up to like uh, 600, 700, somewhere around there. It's a very simply designed game, but really great. And also, the music is bumping, dude. Okay, our next kill should turn us into the next enemy. Okay, 15 out of 15. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, so it says I have six health, but when I die, um, I'll just re return to what I was. It's all randomly generated, too. I'm just curious. Okay, so I can't heal while I'm while I'm transcended, which makes sense, I guess. Kind of lame, but you know, whatever. And I'm taking all the coins that I can. I'm good. The trick to games like this is collect everything that you can. Why leave stuff behind? If the game's gonna give it to you, collect it. Like, when it comes to dungeon crawler games, especially Diablo, I am a super hoarder. Like, I will hoard stuff, and I will just sell it off and make so much money. We're getting lots of healing items, so I think this run is going to be really good. I've only really died once, and that's because I took on the boss the first the, the first time I came across the boss, I took it on, and I died. I actually didn't do too bad, but I still died. Uh, how many do I need? I need 20 this time to transcend. Hmm. So far, so good. We're making great progress. Oh, hey, campfire. Hmm. We're going to go with health, because we need to.
What I might do is pump all of my points into, uh, into health. So that I pretty much become unkillable. At least that's the idea. You know, everything works in theory, but... Okay, there's the cave. We are entering into the cave. Alright, here we go. Let's heal up. Okay, so far so good. Go ahead and equip that. Did I pick up any armor? I didn't. This ghost is probably probably going to die off pretty quick. Just because of the area that we're in. But, um... I'm sure we'll transcend... I'm hoping to get enough enemies to take on the boss and possibly transcend into the boss. At least that's the idea. Okay, so this form has been... What do I need? Ah, 25 is not bad. I could do that. Okay, cool. We're already up to eight. I also like the fact that I can, uh, I can put everything away and just immerse myself into the game. It's a little dangerous, especially with health, but I will say that you do flash red, uh, when you're low on health. I don't know when it starts, so it could be very dangerous. But, I like seeing the, the little globes at the bottom. I love it. I think it looks cool. I also like the fact that they, they added the option to it. Because usually games, though, it's either there or it's not. Like, you don't get a choice. So I think it's cool that they gave you a choice. And with such a basic game... Uh, like I was saying, with such a basic game, it's it, it just adds that that element of control.
I can't believe we're already at 20 minutes, guys. That's ridiculous. This is dangerous. You can't go too far down. If you go to the edge of that screen, you're dead. This time I'm not going to take on the boss. Uh, mainly because I want to survive. And I should also mention, unlike uh, Diablo, the Necromancer is included in the beginning lineup. Hint, hint, Blizzard! Sorry. I'm still a little salty about that, that they took the Necromancer, the best character, out and replace it with a frickin' witch doctor. Oh, I'm about to die. Alright, here we go. Up there is the boss. Exit cave or fight your greatest enemy. We're gonna exit. Where am I? Oh, okay. So I can't get in there. What a shame. I don't know what the soul cooldown does. But we're going to go ahead. Oh! I think it reduces the number that you need for transcending. So what does the soul damage do? Does it up my damage? It must. It must up my, up my damage. Because my mana's going down every time I attack. Usually when you have a necromancer, you can control the dead. This is a different take on a necromancer. And I'm not... I'm not disappointed in it, though. It's actually pretty interesting.
There we go. I still don't have a key. What a shame. I am a new enemy. He's got 22 health. Okay, so we're at the shop. Let's see. How many coins do I have? 3,000, not bad. Might as well buy a bunch of steaks while we have the chance. I'm not going to bother with the apple. Finally, we get a key. gonna heal we are at 256 health that's the highest health count that I have for any of my characters guys that's where we're gonna leave this episode um seeing as we're at a campfire it's the perfect time and we're at the 30 minute mark guys i really enjoy this game i think i'm gonna continue doing this game for a little bit um just to kind of explore it and see what's going on you know i love the retro gaming so if it's not for you i'm very sorry it's something that i really enjoy um, I love the music, I love the, the concept and the design of it, um, it is worth spending money on, though you don't have to spend money, it is free to download, there are paid, there is paid content in it, um, but you don't have to buy it in order to win, as you can clearly see, I've unlocked three of the characters in less than an hour, so, I mean, you know, you take your pick, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed it and you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that sub button for your boy and make sure you ding that bell so you get notified whenever I go live or post a video. I love you guys. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.